oh hey, I'm looking for some good footage. Do you guys know where I can find any? Because this video doesn't have it. I know y'all don't like super long intros, so I'm gonna keep it short. My girlfriend suggested why don't I try wood burning, like pyro or whatever it is called. And I thought, okay, let's give it a shot. So I did a couple of these and this was the final one and I wanted to film this. Sadly, the footage got corrupted. I do have this one though, so you will see this one, but at least this is good quality. So let's get started. I remember doing something like this as a teenager, where even before we had something like this in school, where we were sort of drawing on wood with these heated uh, little things. And yeah, I, I didn't remember that much about it. So I didn't even know if I would like it or not. But just if you're really not interested, you just want to hear my opinion on, <laughs> on uh, burning wood. It is fun. It is very similar to just drawing with fine liner. The only caveat that I would uh, say is, is worth thinking of here or worth keeping in mind here is that uh, the type of wood, I think it's very important because of course I wasn't fully prepared. So I had plywood, I had MDF and I had the, the final drawing was I think a type of plywood that just the box was made out of and I just used the the sort of door or, or front of that box to, to draw on. Uh, so quick uh, conclusions on the wood. The plywood worked the best um, because, uh, and if I zoom in on both the second and final drawing, you can see that there's a lot of dotting, which means that the, the heated tip of the, the drawing tool sort of stops uh, on, on the structure of the wood. So that makes it a little bit less good looking. At least I don't like it. It could be that it gives a specific style that you or somebody who, who's, who's watching this might actually enjoy. So it's, it's just something to, uh, to keep in mind. Okay, and now that I, I, we got this, let's just go through what I did here. So as you can see, I'm still drawing creepy fish and tentacly things because I'm still very much into uh, Dredge, the game. I just uh, finished it, but it's still on my mind. I, I just really enjoyed it. So just a quick shout out to that game, fun stuff. Back to the drawing. So I thought, okay, I'll just keep everything Dredge-like. Uh, and I started out with this um, angler fish type of thing. Uh, and I did for each one of these, I did a quick pre-sketch uh, with pencil. Uh, and yeah, it's it's actually, it is really, it is like if you draw on a piece of paper with pencil and then you take your fine liner and slowly, a little bit slowly, of course, because it's a hot piece of iron that you're drawing with, slowly and carefully, you just uh, draw over it. And actually it was the first piece of wood that I was drawing that you can see here in the video as well with anglerfish that had the, the best reaction. So I could sort of draw smooth lines. I could uh, do a little bit of cross hatching. Those dots also really appeared nicely. And then the idea was just to draw this sort of tentacles coming up and the, 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 the main protagonist of the dredge game is the, the boat itself and like dangerously coming towards it. So I thought, okay, let me try. Even, even though I, I drew uh, first digitally, so I drew all the visual digitally and I wanted to see, okay, let me just try it out there. And then I translated it onto the plywood as per the laser cutting videos. Plywood is probably the worst that you could use because the texture of the wood is really strong because it's not wood texture, it's just a whole bunch of small wood pieces pressed together and, and glued together. So I, I just, I wasn't the biggest fan of, of how that worked. The, the final image already worked better, uh, but still not the best wood. But yeah, so the second image was my setup for this, this whole uh, scene of tentacles going for the ship, not not the best one. I, I thought I liked it when I was drawing it, but in the end didn't look so good. And then I tried again with uh, with a final image that sadly the video got, well, not corrupted. Something, something with my zoom just went wrong and it looks super blurry and unusable. And I didn't want to scar your eyes with, <laughs> with the bad quality video there. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so it is, it is a lot of fun. Uh, it is a little bit dangerous, which makes it more fun. Uh, my fingers were hurting a little bit because um, you do have to apply a little bit of pressure. And 
I think the final image that's not here took me about 40 minutes to draw out and my fingers were pressing, maybe also the stress because it's a hot, hot piece of thing in your hand. And I just, my grip was too strong and my fingers were hurting from it at the end. So that's something that's maybe worth uh, keeping in mind. But yeah, it is, it is a lot of fun. It's a different approach and artistic expression. Uh, is it for me? I, I don't know because it's very similar. I, I could draw this digitally and then just export it to a file. Just actually don't have to export it, just save it as a JPEG, put it into the laser gap cutter that I have, and I probably will have a better quality. Will it be handmade? No, so the, and it will be also reproducible. So the rareness, maybe the, the, the value will be not as high as in a handmade piece, but then that's up to you guys if you find that sort of thing valuable or not. But yeah, so as I said, I think some people would just appreciate if you if you do a little gift. You can use cork, you can use pieces of wood. These are not expensive to buy. And a big upside, a wood burner like this is way cheaper than the laser cutter. So if you don't have a laser cutter just lying somewhere, which I imagine most people don't, uh, yeah, it is It is definitely a more interesting approach. And it, it is really, I, I imagine it would be a nice gift to get uh, something like this. Uh, and with that, that's that's all the opinions I, I have about this. It is, it is fun. Try it out. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you stuck around this long, then thank you for sticking around. Uh, not sure if I will if I will do it again. But if you guys have some good recommendations or techniques, or or you use it and you know something that I did wrong, or you have some some ideas of what I should do next, I I could give it another go. So please leave uh, leave your comments and and suggestions and remarks in the comment section down below. If you really like my stuff, even this sort of videos, uh, there's links down in the description uh, to my Patreon and other ways you can support me. But as always, the most important thing is that you folks have a great time and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.